Hey there guys and welcome to the Geek Group. I'm Chris Bowden and tonight we're going to talk about neon sign transformers and how to phase them. So we've had some uh, listener comments and viewer comments and all kinds of comments, love mail, hate mail, fan mail, about you guys sending in stuff saying, I saw a thing on phasing but I couldn't see what you were doing, I was scared, I was confused, I, I kind of hurt myself and I don't know what to do. So we're going to show you how and we're going to do it as a two camera shoot so that we can get the, the up close and personal. So what you're going to need is two neon sign transformers, preferably of the same voltage and the same amperage. It is much more important that they're the same voltage than current rating. But in our case, 12 kilovolts, 60 milliamps, everything's cool. Um, the reason you want them to be similar is if the voltages are different, if you have a, a 12 and a 15, these things are built within an inch of their life and you can arc them out very easily internally. Um, also, if the voltages are different, you might pump into one and you're going to get kickback and just all kinds of weird stuff that run a simulation. You'll understand. But it gets, it gets hinky. Don't do that. Just keep it simple for now, okay? So we've got 12 kilovolts, 60 milliamps. Um, we've got the official physics duck high voltage probe of science, which is a standard 5A drumstick. Um, this one is a Vader, Los Angeles. Very nice if you're into jazz with a nylon tip. It's important. Um, you take a piece of wire. Um, I'm just using, uh, it's got to be about 22 gauge magnet wire. Have about two inches sticking off the top. Wrap it around there nice and secure. And then a foot and a half or so. So this comes in handy. You'll see why. I've got some various little bits of wire. Um, I use white wire, black wire, and red wire. I do this using the proper American color codes. You should too, because it's a good habit to get into. Black is hot. White is neutral. Green is ground. These things pretty much never change, so yes. Um, we'll get into the whole neutral versus ground later. We'll do a video on that, of the difference between a grounded conductor and a grounding conductor, but you don't care, and I don't want to take the time to explain it right now. We're talking about phasing NSTs. Some basic safety things, because yes, I'm going to give a safety spiel before I talk about neon sign transformers. These things are very, very safe, but they can kill you. It's rare. You have to do something impressively stupid, but they can kill you. Don't be a douche. Pay attention to what you're doing. Basic safety stuff. Have the plug where you can see it. A lot of times, people working, you get a bunch of clutter on your desk and that. Keep it simple. Okay? When, when it comes to plugs, this is stuff you don't want to mess with. If you're not, you know, if, if you've got a lot going on and, and it's really intense and stuff, put the plug in your pocket. Get in the habit of doing that. Put the plug in your pocket. It will save you. When you pick up a neon sign transformer, as you will often be wont to do, they're heavy. They're very dense. They're full of tar and iron and copper and magic strawberry goodness. Don't ever pick up any piece of high voltage equipment by its insulators. It doesn't matter if it's a little neon sign transformer or a 50 kilovolt pole pig. There are proper places to lift anything. Neon sign transformers, capacitors, and other high voltage gear is rather fussy about this. The bushings that hold these on are porcelain. They're, they're glass. They're delicate. They will break. You will learn this at some point. Because even if you are smart enough to know to not to pick up your NST by its bushings, one of your idiot friends will. He'll be like, oh yeah, I'll grab that. And he'll pick it up and it'll fall on his foot. And he'll cry and you'll laugh. And that'll make you feel a little bit better because these things only go in about a quarter inch. And there's a little tiny tab on them. And you'll snap it off. And you'll cry because you can't fix it. At which point, you now have a 20-pound doorstop. So don't pick them up by the bushings. Pick them up by the signs. Love them. Gently caress them and just treat it nice and just set it over here where it's happy. It's good NST. Love your NSTs. All right. On the high voltage side, I'll be using red with a little bit of ginger. So we're going to take and get these so that we can get them phased because the, the main reason that people would want to connect multiple NSTs together is to double the current output. If you connect them in parallel, you increase the current. If you connect them in series, you increase the voltage. But you're not going to be an idiot and try to connect NSTs in series because you know you'll just overvolt them and end up burning them all up. 
so don't do this. You can, however, quite safely, quite happily, connect them in parallel and take your 60 milliamps and add it to your 60 milliamps and get 120 milliamps out and you get bigger sparks and everybody's happy. So the way to do this is you have to understand what you have here is actually four transformers. You've got a primary winding and a primary winding. Each one only has one. But you've got a secondary separate from the other side secondary. This is a 6,000 volt transformer. This is a 6,000 volt transformer. And they're both out of phase so that you get 12,000 volts across. This is because neon sign transformer manufacturers are cheap bastards and they like to cut costs. And it's a lot easier to make a box insulated for 6,000 volts than it is to do it for 12. So, you know these two are out of phase to each other. So are these two, but they can be flipped. And just for kicks, we use two different brands. We have a Jensen and an Allenson. So I have no idea if this is going to work or not. So we're going we're to hook it up, and if they're in phase, cool. And if they're not, we'll show you how to phase them. And it's really simple. It's just twisting the wire. It's really that complicated, but it's important to know what wire goes where. So this is how you do it. You climb up on your bench. Now. On this side of the transformer, we've got a high voltage bushing on each and our two low voltage bushings. Now the ground on this one is actually on the other end and that's just a lug, it's not a bushing. So I've already connected that up because you know how to hook up a ground wire and if you don't know how to hook up a ground wire, you probably shouldn't be playing with 12,000 volt power supplies now, should you? All right, so the way to do this is we take, we'll start with neutral and that is on the bottom here. We've got our power plug coming in and that has neutral, hot, and ground. So we take our neutral and wrap it around there and just hook that on. And then we take it over here and hook that on. And then we take our hot, connect it over here first. And then we bring it over here. And I'm just doing this quick and dirty. I'm not even using the happy little wire washers because it doesn't really matter at this point. Ah. So now as you can see, we've got the connections on this side are exactly mirrored on this side. And you want to take a moment and make sure your wires are a safe distance away from this because remember this is 12,000 volts here, well six, and that doesn't have to touch anything to arc. Wires at 300 volts or below have to actually touch to make an electrical connection. But once you're above 300 volts, that's a breakdown voltage of air, electricity will just magically jump out and bite you. And the higher the voltage, the farther it'll jump. So. At this point, we take our super high-tech duck safety science probe of science and love and magic and miracles and unicorns and stuff. We connect this to one side of our neon sign transformer. And we set it off a safe distance and make sure everything's cool. We grab our power plug and we plug it in. Now, this doesn't look any different. And you might hear a little something because it, it might interact with my microphone, but I don't, I don't hear anything. This, this is bristling with high voltage and it looks perfectly safe up until the point when you do this. See, that dog will bite you. Now, unless you do something fabulously stupid, and we'll cover that in a second, these won't kill you. But they do hurt like heartbreak. Okay, this will make you cry. It is a level of pain that you won't forget anytime soon. So be careful when you've got them on. Now, to test if everything works, you go here. Okay, we've got hot there. We've got hot here. Okay. Now, if we're in phase, we actually won't get an arc to this terminal. Just like if we touched it to this side, we don't get an arc. If we go over here, we get an arc. They're out of phase. Perfect. Now, if you go to the other side, you won't get an arc. Nothing. If I go here, we get an arc. But here, we don't. So that tells me this is hot, this is not. This is hot, this is not. So, we unplug. There's the plug, so we know we're safe. And now here's the super high-tech secret of how to phase NSTs. Because now you've tested them and you've found out your phasing. So you disconnect the wire, and clean it off because it's all manky now that you've crushed it in the screw. And you disconnect the bottom wire and now you put the bottom wire on the top and the top wire on the bottom And that's it. Now, the white, the neutral, connects from the bottom here to the top here, top here to bottom here. All you've done is reverse the polarity. Now you're thinking, it's AC! There isn't any polarity! 